monastic settlement of words are really hard this morning. Uh, site here in the little town of Glendalough. It is absolutely stunning. This is the hotel that is here. No, it's not going to turn on me. There we are. So we're not staying here. But uh, I'm just being careful. This is actually a road. Of course, we're in Ireland. Hoping the internet holds up. There's a little stream. We feel like we've actually entered into what you would imagine Nirvana or heaven or the summer lands to be. It's just, just stunning. Daffodils are out everywhere because it's spring and they grow like weeds, but apparently people just plant them. Um, I don't know if you remember, there was a photo of Renata and I sitting there having a cup of coffee a couple of years ago, pre-COVID. Here is oh hello everyone that's joined. I wish I could see. Oh, it looks like I can actually see the comments. Big Byron, it is beautiful. Hi Kate. Hi Robert. Isn't this just stunning? Oh my God, it's breathtaking. I was trying to do the uh, portrait view, but I couldn't. Now there's uh, the round tower there. All right, we're going to try and get up through the walkway without getting run over. <laughs> And of course, we have some tourist shops. Actually, I bought stuff for the grandkids there last time I was here. Oh, God's Cottage is up the road. I was always wondering where he lived. Now we know. So this was an old monastery. Let's hope Anne doesn't go arse over tit getting in here. All the way driving here. Renata's going, stop, got to take a photo, stop, got to take a photo, oh my god. <laughs> if you're watching, say hello, tell me where you're watching from. Hello Queen Bee, Deborah Ann. Look at the rocks, I know this is silly to say look at the rocks, but seriously, look at the rocks. It's greener than green. They call it the Emerald Isle, and this is why. I, I have no filters on this. This just is. I vaguely remember trying to do a live from here last time. Now, this is a church ground. So we've got a graveyard. And it's a graveyard because it's got a church. It didn't have a church. It'd be a cemetery. Oh fuck. Honest to God, Ireland. You just keep turning it on. Oh Brisbane, is it starting to cool down? A snowy South of Wales. Oh you know what this is like. You know how beautiful the country's side is and everything. Auckland, you know how it is. I did do a history tour here many, many years ago. Can't remember all the information. But I thought I'd like to take you all for a stroll. Oh, you got rain. It's not cooling down. Oh, no. We'll be back in Australia next Wednesday. Oh, God. Oh, it's going to kill us. this green <laughs> hello on the road Australia and there's one of our Celtic crosses ow what am I saying ow well I mean my family uh, originated from here grandparents oh Joanne thank you so much oh you are so kind that will buy Renata and Barb some coffees I don't know if you all heard the news but uh, at the moment Renata has lost Maitland Jail indefinitely with some major renovations going on they're not saying why but that is most of her income so I'm buying the coffees for them at the moment <laughs> look at the tree oh far 
sprout, Brussels sprout. Hi Dawn. Hello Penny. Renata's off with the other camera. Here's some more lichen. We just don't see things like this in Australia. Hi Wayne. We don't see green like this in Australia. So here's some little headstones. Well, they could be footstones. They've worn down with time. I'm impressed we've still got signal. And this is totally free to come into. We had wanted to put this one onto our uh, uh, Ireland tour that we've just completed. But there just wasn't enough time. And like they were all spread out too far. But I think I need to make a part two. Take them to the church in a second. All the hand placed stones. Oh, there's quartz. It's quartz. Hmm. I guess I don't fall off that step down there. But look, 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 look. I've seen green like that on some of my students' teeth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Daisy, that's foul. I'll just try and avoid people as they're coming past. I know uh, Renata has some, it's not Clutie's, or is it the God's Eyes that she's the, they were making and she has brought some to find a tree to put them on in here. It's just stunning on the road Australia, just breathtaking and this is really our last full day in Ireland. We fly out tomorrow back to Heathrow and we spend a couple of days where we're going to catch up with Beth and Joanne and uh, then head home on Monday. Look at the size of these. So these would have been saved from being outside. Some, or they could have been tombstones, I'm not sure, because you can see that some here are on the ground. So only the most important people would have been allowed to be buried in here. Oh, God's Eye. So a God's Eye, um, if you go on to Anne and Renata Frightfully Good, you will see what they are. Basically, it is two pieces of wood laid on top of each other in the um, X, and then you wind wool around it. And as you're winding it, you put your intentions and your hopes and your dreams and it's a very still moment where you're just sitting and it's a bit like knitting or crocheting where you're just very still and um, concentrating on what's important in your life. And as you wind it around it, um, you change colour. So you end up with one colour in the middle, then a different colour around that and then a different colour around that. So you, you end up with something that is um, quite beautiful. It almost looks like a kite but it's not the right shape. If I can catch up with her. Uh, I'm not sure what religion this one is. That was this one from... I'm going to make sure the straps aren't hanging down. Uh, oh, age seven years. Oh, sorry, I'm not right on it. Can't actually see the year. So this is in County Wicklow. So I think where I'm standing would have been the high water. I think these people are waiting to take a photo. I need to get out of the road. 
Oh, this one's got a bit of water on it, which makes it easy. Um, is Ireland expensive? Uh, it is if you live here, because the wages aren't terribly high. Uh, and I think the cost of living is going up everywhere. The cost of electricity has certainly gone up. Fuel. Uh, we know Danielle was saying it's, uh, it's, it's difficult to live, but they managed to buy a house, which is awesome. Oh, happy Easter, happy Ostara, happy, happy everyone. It's um, still Thursday here. I think the, the stone work in the arch. And, uh, you can see how big the building was. And of course the, the green makes all the colours just pop. Hello Becca Laurie. Hey Rob from Scotland. We were just driving through the Wicklow Mountain saying how much it looked like Scotland. So what's the cathedral from? 1214. No, yep. it ceased to be a cathedral oh. in 1214. Some it, it oh, stopped. stopped. Yes. Yeah. Some the, stones date back to the 10th. Um, which is yeah. the 900s. Yeah, to the 10th century. Hello. So the bottom course is maybe 10th century in date. Upper stones 11th century and in the 12th century. So these, century. these big buggers here are 10th yeah. century. They're 900s. Far out. That's crazy, isn't it? To just... mm. oh. Yeah, it's a bit strange. Um, do you have a God's eye on you? Because people are asking what is a God's eye and what does it look like? Uh, if I can dig one out of the bag. Big bad bar. This year, she's yeah. going to... They're loose. Right, so oh, we're blocking no, doorways. Of course I'm stopping the doorway. Yep. Okay. Of course we are. So as I say, it's <laughs> two pieces of wood. And then you weave the wall around it on the outside and you change colours as you go through. So it looks like an eye. And as you weave, you put your intentions into it. And then when you're ready, you place it on a fairy tree. Well, we've got some beautiful trees that we're going to put it on. And um, I think there are some maybe right at the very back okay. where they don't take them. Yep. And they don't move them. So we're going to get here to the back. And we'll go do this shortly. Of course, the closer you are to the church, the more important you are. There's another little chapel down there. Um, how much is it to charge the electric car? It's still cheaper than the fuel. <laughs> I haven't had any issues with uh, driving around with the electric car here. I was worried because I didn't think they had as many charging stations. They don't have as many Tesla charging stations, the superchargers. Uh, so if you get a supercharger, they can be quite expensive. Um, they're like 74 cents, which is in the euro dollar, um, per kilowatt hour. And at home, that's about 27 cents. So there's a big difference, but it's still cheaper than driving with petrol. Roman, actually, my husband, for those who don't know, went to my granddaughter's uh, Easter hat parade <laughs> today, back in Australia. Oh, Barb's stripping. She's down to a T-shirt. <laughs> There's Renata. We've lost her. I don't know where she's gone. She might be in the, the chapel. She's doing some filming for a, a vlog. Because I figured if we need lots of scenery, because this is all about the scenery here and the history, then we need lots of walking and talking. 
we haven't had good internet at hotels and I rely on that for my laptop. It can't hotspot off my phone because I'm using um, an eSIM and it won't let you hotspot anyone else because you know I have unlimited data on the eSIM and I could have hotspotted everyone but I suppose that's how they stop people uh, doing that sort of thing. Oh god, that green! So the uh, On the Road Australia, that church was um, originally from 900 and they've added layers to it as it went on. It stopped being used in the 12th century or the 1200s I think it was. I can't remember. Oh, big bad Barb's got a smile on her face. Oh my, that's a big one. When you see Barb next to it, you realise just how tall it is. All right, big bad Barb, tell me about this one. This is the round tower, apparently. So it's got round towers were used by the... Was it Ken... Camp Nulinese or bell towers of early Irish monasteries and were used to summon the monks to prayer. This tower is a hundred feet high and has six floors with wooden landings which are now vanished. The top story has four windows and the other upper stories have one each. The door is almost 12 feet above ground and was presumed, oh, words, presumably reached by means of a movable ladder which those inside could pull up after them to prevent an enemy from entering the tower. The use of the hole just above the ground level is unknown. This round tower was probably built sometime between 900 and 1200. 900 wow. and 1200. Holy crap. My God. And it's still standing today. Yeah, they don't make them like no, they used they to. No, they don't. But they were telling us that um, the, the monks would uh, sort of retreat if they were under attack into these buildings yeah. and it would be a siege situation but then the because uh, that's what they'd, they'd have that door and they'd put a ladder down yeah, so they and they'd pull, pull the ladder in. up and then you couldn't follow yeah, them in yeah. but they would, the enemies would build a fire around the bottom oh, here like a and acted like a chimney like it, straight up it would heat oh. heat up and smoke them out holy Jesus, they yeah. Smart idea, but then they always came up with a solution for those smart ideas, didn't they? This must be the hole, they don't know what the hole was for. Yeah. That might be the letterbox. Yeah. That's where they posted the mail. The post hole. <laughs> I don't know if we can see anything in there. Wouldn't you hate it if a face all of a sudden appeared? Oh, oh laugh or something come out. <laughs> that was a bird just flying out. It scared the shit out of me. So it was used to some monster prayer, and it is 100 feet high and had six floors. London, they put up. Was that something lights? Not sure what they are, but east of it, not the same here. Hot wine. Looks like the sewer chimneys in Sydney. <laughs> no, you will see uh, casual. We are in Ireland. We're at Glendalough at the moment. That demonastic site. I've not had the internet hold up as well. I think I was saying something about the, I need the internet to access my computer to be able to upload videos and then edit them. So I haven't been able to do a lot of that, which is disappointing, but that's all sitting there for cousin Steve to look at, isn't it? Oh, there's always a crazy mug. It's always a woman dressed in white and a little girl with curly hair and some sort of monk or priest or nun. It's the trope of ghost hunters. Well spotted, Rob. So I think we go into more of the modern side over here. So I'm, I'm not gonna go over here because this is recent for people and I, I don't like to do recent. I like to stick to the old. Greeting eggs? What the fuck are greeting eggs? People are just too frightened to call it 
what they believe it is. Hey, Jenny Depp. Uh, is it the camera playing up or is it the internet's not strong over here? I will try walking through here and get back to a better line of sight. For the uh, internets. Yeah, fear. People just fearing stuff so much that they don't want to be judged if they say the wrong thing. People jump down their throats if they say something that's not vanilla. People walk their dogs all through here too. Oh, here's the other little church. I'll see if I can get down. Looks like something from a movie. It does! It's too perfect. Even like the age of the, the well, your headstones and things. It's just all too perfect. If you're enjoying this, please, please, please write a comment in the comments. And uh, when you finish uh, watching this, uh, go back out come back in write a comment and give it a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed guys we have lost a couple of people in the last couple of days not quite sure why maybe they died i don't know <laughs> sorry 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 <laughs> So that's the church we're looking at. I'm going to head down to this other one. I just want to trip over things, so I'm going to just concentrate. Sorry if we lose a good framing on the picture, but I don't want to trip over a headstone. As you can see, it's very wobbly on the footpath here. Probably walking over headstones, graves. Did you see the video on the jumping church? Did a little video on the jumping church. Oh look, sparrows. We don't even see them in Australia anymore. They've all been beaten out by the noisy miners. Mm, that green. Are you expecting zombies to start coming out of the graves? This is not a good place to be if we have a zombie attack. We want to be back at the Irish Military Museum, although he said all those have been decommissioned, so they're not no good. I'm getting down there. I'm not sure how well this internet's going to hold up. Do let me know. Um, Jenny, I will look out for you and try to find an answer to that one. But as we said, the uh, church's first stones that were laid there are from 900. Somewhere in the 900. So I'm assuming there would be some from that age. But you can see there must be graves here because of the dips. Not for Antonio. Because I would look it up on the internet for you, but I'm using my phone. <laughs> look at this, the green on that, and the, the different coloured moss. Yeah, I'm a little bit obsessed with moss, I can't help it. You saw some sparrows in Newcastle. Oh, there's a little one there I missed. Oh, we'll come back up to that. Yeah, the inscriptions are very worn on the older ones. And I think they used stone that was not going to last terribly well as well. Oh, look, we're here. We'll, we'll boot, leg it up here. I've had to wear my uh, boot boots today because the ground is very muddy. The weather's weird. It's sort of sleet. We get bits of, like, almost snow freezing cold and then the sun comes out like it is now and we're all baking I'll just be quiet going through here it's a lot of people okay. this is the priest's house 
So it's a miniature 12th century building, perhaps an oratory or shrine. Hard to read from here. Over the something fragmentary lintel with the representation of an ecclesiastic or monarch flanked by two abbots. One under something and I can't read it. Let's see if I can spot it though. You can sort of see it there, the carvings that are there. Imagine that would have been a fireplace. You can probably read that better than I can. Here lie the body of. Yeah, no, I can't see it. What's this one? Does that say 12 or no, it's 18? Imagine this being your house. They talk about small enough to swing a cat. This is the one. <laughs> or wide enough. And there is only one way out, in and out. Unless you're a little, and then you could fit through the window. <laughs> I'll get down to the other one. The internet's holding up well. Hello, Melanie. How are you? Hello, Tara. Oh, I'm starting to get hot. I've got a t-shirt, a hoodie, and a big parker on. Yeah, I'll go down this way. Okay, I have to go over here. There's too much mud there. Found big bad bud. I'm going to have to steal all their photos. Hot, 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 hot. I know. But people are sitting having picnics and sunbaking. Oh, and the dog. There's a dog. We miss dogs so bad. Look at it. Oh, such a well behaved pup pup. Again, not sure how well the internet will hold up. I will race back up. If we lose it. Um, there's a lot of Celtic crosses up there, but not as much as what there was in Glasnevin. There was more in Glasnevin. Because this must have been more of the Christian type. Oh my God. The stairs. So now she's moved and I've got nothing soft to land on. <laughs> You could, I, I could imagine being some sort of monk or something here where you just stayed in silence the whole time because you could just live quietly. Look at the roof, the, the roof is fucking stone. I'd live here, not a problem. <laughs> Your dogs would have a great oh, time. They'd love it. Plenty of rabbits to chase, rabbits <laughs> everywhere. That'd be a Stone fences. Of course, this is all surrounded by a river. Stairs bad. Oh, look, Robert, I've got two legs and it's bad. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at that. I've got the plinth. That must be the bell tower or something up there. I wonder if there's a Sheila in the gig anywhere. I do like a bit of Sheila. That's where um, the pagans sort of thumb their nose at the 
Christians who were trying to take over all their sites. And um, basically they, they stole the... Uh, Christianity stole the pagans' dates, made it their own so that the pagans would happily uh, cross over to Christianity. Um, and they put a, a Sheila Nagig. Now, Sheila Nagig is sort of like a fertility goddess. And um, she would be sort of naked in a squatting position. Uh, and she would have her bits, <laughs> the flaps, sort of showing to the world to say, yeah, I am the goddess. I am Ireland. I am this place. You can claim it in your name, but you, you're not owning it. I want to do some more study on Sheila McGeek, so uh, I'm not an expert on it. I'm just trying to remember my bits and pieces. Why is there all this machinery going whenever we film? Honest to God, look. It's beautiful. I'll turn it around. It's beautiful. There's bloody machinery going down there. Stop now. There it goes. Yeah. We're still holding up. So we'll get around the other side and see if we can get into this church. I don't know if we can. And I'll take it down to the river. Oh, it's a little bit nipply around the corner here. Right, so they've actually locked this one off, but we can see inside quite clearly. So we'll take you in for a little look. Don't drop your phone in there. Again, we've got the moss everywhere. How good is the internet holding up? We're inside a freaking stone church. Some more headstones that they're trying to say. There's a big cross over there that's obviously snapped off. Reminds me of the health icon. And getting dripped on. <laughs> we had a runaway child there. down to the, the river but it's where the machinery is so it will be beautiful but they're vacuuming they've got a leaf blower ah, the consistency of this amazes me every time <laughs> look at this gorgeous tree Just stunning. <laughs> oh, I can't take you down to the river down there, not with all that going. Oh. Bob, why is there always a leaf blower or a lawnmower? <laughs> Jump on that little tractor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they've, they've almost finished. They've almost got it all off the bridge. All right. So, can't hear a thing you're saying. Uh, and what has been your favourite part of Ireland so far? Oh, God, that's a loaded question. St. Bridget's Well. Yeah. That was a, I had a, a very big moment there. That, that unplugged the blockage, that, that one. That did. That, that really did and then being at our accommodation where we are it's it's been the rejuvenation that I've needed just to stop and just be and appreciate nature and the simple things in life and good for, and laughing I've not laughed <laughs> as hard I've peed my pants nearly as many times <laughs> as I have it's just been oh it's been good for the soul it has yeah, it's been really Ireland is very healing oh. very very healing I don't want to go no, nah, none of us. None of us want to go. Okay, although I'll just stay. I am going <laughs> home. Mm. I am going home to pick up my new Tesla. And it's a long range. <laughs> it's a long range. Oh, I the, ordered the wrong one. The I was really tired. I was exhausted, and um, 
because we're trying to time it so that it can pick up the car when we get off the plane we go and pick up the new car and that way um, Barb's going to borrow Ghost's car until she can get her car sorted or get a car sorted um, she's going through a rough time at the moment so she's going to borrow Ghost's and uh, yeah so they said okay place the order now so okay good place the order now got the red one I got the model Y uh, and I've gone, oh that's right, they keep talking about rear wheel drive, rear wheel drive, so I get the rear wheel drive. I forgot, it wasn't the long, long range. And I said to Roman, make sure that I've got the right car, I've got the right car. Because it's a lot of money to spend. And this is, this is going to be a once in a lifetime thing for me. I, I won't be able to probably get something like this again, and it's going to last me a long time. Um, <sighs> Yeah, I ordered the wrong one. I didn't get the long range. It was supposed to be all wheel drive was the one I was going to get. And I went into Meltdown. I had it. I had a Meltdown. And Roman, I had to give authority to Roman to act on my behalf and he got it sorted, thank heavens. Uh, so he has now got it. Now we're just, it may have pushed back the, the day of being able to pick up the car. Um, we're just waiting for the final paperwork to come through, but now of course it's Good Friday over there So everything's shut for four days and that means we've only got Tuesday, which I'll be flying So I hope Roman can sort it all for me <laughs> Otherwise all my plans go out the door. First world problems. I know. Anyway, we've fucked off the leaf blower Let me turn you around Hoping the internet holds. Oh, look, she's found it. She's going to cry. There is just something about flowing river here that just takes my breath away. You ready? I'm just going to put the, the rope over my hand so I don't lose my phone in the water. Here we go. People be throwing coins in. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed my little wander, uh, Glendalow Monastic Cemetery, um, and we leave Ireland tomorrow. Uh, please, if you could give us a thumbs up and a like and a subscribe, we would really appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much for the super stickers, thank you for the cups of coffee, thank you for everything you guys do to make this happen. Really, this at the moment helps Renata get away. We're trying to get Cousin Steve away to America with us when we run our next adventure. If you want to join us on our adventures, we've got one coming up to... Um, oh my God, Salem, New England for Halloween. We've got a few other ideas, uh, which we will reveal 
once we've sort of had a chance to think about it. Uh, <laughs> bye Daisy. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for being our supporters. Thank you for making this sort of work happen and we'll try to get the uh, videos up online for you to enjoy. So thanks guys. I'm going to say goodbye and I'm just going to enjoy this here because I, I need to refill my soul a little bit. Bye everyone.